Okay, let's have another example on solving for the resultant of concurrent forces in three dimensions. Okay, this perhaps will be the last for this particular uh, topic. <clears throat> okay, uh, three cables, uh, three cable tensions T1, T2, and T3 act at the top of the flagpole. Given that the resultant force for the three tensions is a negative one, uh, 500 K newtons, find the magnitude of, the, of each of the cable tensions. So that is the problem. So given yung ating uh, resultant force which acts uh, at the z-axis, no? downwards z-axis. So, K yung kanyang direction. So, definitely, nasa z-axis siya, downwards. <clears throat> uh, Newton. Find the magnitude of each of the cable tensions. So, we're going to find for the tensions in each cable. T1, T2, and T3. Okay. This is quite... Ito mo ba? Hindi pala. <laughs> we can solve this using our strategy sa previous example natin, sa previous video. But you have to you have to identify muna yung mga <clears throat> mga angles, no? Okay, we can solve for the components along x, y, z of the three tensions. Okay, if we uh, using angles, so but 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 uh, using trigonometry, if we can if we can solve for the angles, of course we can solve for the angles, and no? given the the data here or the dimensions of the cables and um, but it, for this problem, it is best to use the uh, vector algebra to solve this particular problem. Okay, so we're going to use yung mga concepts before that we have discussed: yung precision vectors, unit vectors, and solving for the um, Cartesian vector form of each force. Okay, so first is that. So if we can, if we try to ano, to review what we have discussed before, I review muna natin ng konti. Ano. So the Cartesian vector form of a force, F, is equal to F, <coughs> Fx plus I plus Fyj plus Fzk. Now, the, this uh, forces are the components of the uh, force F along X, Y, Z axis. No? So this is how we represent the, the force in terms of its Cartesian vector uh, form, or yeah, its vector form. Yeah. So if we can express each force, T1, T2, and T3, in its Cartesian vector form, then we can simply, simply identify or solve for the X, Y, Z components of each force. No, we can solve that. And uh, later on, solve for the tensions in each cable. No. Okay? So, our strategy, ang strategy natin is to express muna each tension, na each tension or each force in its, in its uh, Cartesian vector form. So that we can also know, so we will know the components <coughs> along x, y, z axis. Okay, the components of, it, of the forces uh, uh, along x, y, z axis. You know? And then, um, we can now solve for the, the tensions. Since we know yung ating resultant na uh, 500 newtons. Okay. Okay, so yung unang, unang gawin natin, express each force in Cartesian uh, vector form. Okay, so nasaan ba yung ating resultant force? So given kasi yung resultant force natin, you know, that is R is a negative 500K. So K means it is directed along the Z-axis. Negative means downwards yung kanyang uh, direction. So yung resultant force natin, so nandito yung ating uh, nakakabit yung mga cables na may tension. So nandito yung ating resultant force. So downwards... Diyan siya, yung resultant natin. This is 500 newtons. Downward siya. So, negative 500K. 
Yan yung result natin. Which means na wala siyang yung result natin sa walang walang ano, walang <coughs> component along x y uh, axis. Okay, so diretso siya sa may uh, it is along the z axis, right? So first uh, kasi hindi pala given yung ating mga coordinates so we need to identify muna yung mga coordinates natin. So at point A, the coordinates are because we need this later on sa pag-solve ng position vector ng bawat tension. So coordinates ng A, ano yung coordinates ng A natin? So wala siyang X and Y components. Ang meron ay Z. So wala siyang X, wala siyang Y. But we have Z which is 12. Yan. And B, ano yung coordinates ng point B natin? So walang X, Walang Z, ang meron lang ay Y, so 0. Meron tayong value ng Y, which is negative, negative 8. Z ay wala din, so 0. And then point C, sa so my point C, ang coordinates ng point C natin, meron siyang uh, X coordinate, which is 6 meters, positive. And then wala siyang Y coordinate. Wala din siyang Z coordinates. So, zero yan. And then at point D, we need, uh, yung coordinates natin, uh, mayroon siyang X coordinate. X coordinate natin is pala nun, which is 4 meters, negative 4 meters. And mayroon din tayong Y coordinate, pag ganun siya, so positive 3. Uh, wala siyang Z coordinate, so zero yung Z coordinate natin. Okay? So next, Solve na natin yung Cartesian vector form ng bawat force or ng bawat uh, tension dito. So, let's start with T1. So, remember, let's just uh, review yung previous topic natin. That the Cartesian vector form of a certain force, F, is equal to F times the unit vector, U. Ah, hindi pala kita sa video. And F times the unit vector. Or this is also equal to F times the position vector. Position vector R divided by the distance between the two points, yung, yung vector natin. So in this case, para hindi tayo mahirapan, kasi sa previous examples natin, we're using both letters to represent different uh, quantities. Iniibaba ko lang yung, yung color sa module natin. Nakabold yung isa, yung position vector. But in this case, let's just change this to D na lang. Distance between the points being considered sa, sa position vector natin. Okay? So we have the position vector divided by the distance between the two points. So which is this, this ratio now is the unit vector. Okay, so, para i-direction natin yung solution natin. So, para tipid tayo sa space. <laughs> so, T1 then is equal to yung, pos yung Cartesian vector form ng T1. T1 is unknown. So, we have T1 times R1, position vector 1 natin. Ano yung position vector natin? How do we define the position vector? We subtract yung ating head, yung coordinates ng head, and then yung coordinates ng tail. So we have, <clears throat> for T1, it's directed along segment AB. So head minus tail. So zero, uh, zero, wala siyang, ay, sorry, that should be I. So zero I, and then we also have head minus tail. So we have negative eight minus zero. So minus eight J. And then, 0 minus 12, 0 minus 12, so minus 12K. Okay. Divided by yung distance between, na. <laughs> between A and, uh, B and A. So that is equal to, we have, equal lang natin to. The quantity, <coughs> square root of the quantity, 0 squared plus minus 8 squared 
plus minus 12 squared. So, yan yung uh, distance between B and A, A and B. So, T1 then is equal to yung T1 natin. So, we have T1, T1 in Cartesian vector form. So, we have minus 8J. It's raining. <laughs> minus 12K divided by 14.422. Okay. Or that is also equal to I divide natin each term So denominator And then I distribute natin yung T1 So minus 0 0.555 T1J Minus 0 0.832 T1K So, this is the Cartesian vector form of T1. Next, T2. T2 times, again, uh, the position vector of T2, head minus tail. So, we have 6 minus 0, we have 6i. 0 minus 0, so plus 0j. 0 minus 12, so minus 12 Okay. Divided by square root of we have 6 squared plus 0 squared plus minus 12 squared. Okay. So that is equivalent to T2 times we have 6i minus 12k divided by 13.416 that is equivalent to a divide natin each term to 13.416 distribute natin yung t2 we have 0 0.447 t2i minus 0 0.894 T2, T sub 2, K. Okay? So that is the Cartesian vector form of T2, T sub 2. Next, last, uh, T sub 3, Cartesian vector form of T sub 3. T3 is equal to, again, head minus tail. The position vector of T3, so head minus tail, so negative 4 minus 0. That is negative 4 i and then 3 minus 0 so plus 3 j plus plus 2 0 minus 12 so that is negative 12 k divided by the quantity yung distance natin minus 4 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 12 squared so t sub 2 natin ay t sub 2 t sub 3 times we have minus 4i plus 3j minus 12k divided by the distance natin which is uh, 13 <coughs> So, the Cartesian vector form of T3 is equal to minus 0.308 T3i plus 0 0.231 T3j minus 0 0.923. T3 Okay, hope kita yun sa video eh. So, kompleto na yung ating Cartesian vector form for each uh, tension Next 
equate the resultant force with the sums of the three forces. Okay? Equate the resultant force with the sums of the three forces. So, we have R is equal to T1 plus T2 plus T3 since R is the resultant of the three uh, forces or three uh, tensions. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin? Okay, so sabi ko kanina or sa mga previous discussions natin I've mentioned this quite a lot of time already many times <laughs> So the Cartesian vector form of a force F is equal to Fxi plus Fyj plus Fz Okay, which means that with the Cartesian vector representation of each force we can easily identify the components of each force from uh, with respect to the different axes, no x, y, z axis. So this would be the component along x, component along y, component along z. Okay? And we also know that Rx, the component of the resultant force along x, is equal to the summation of forces along the x axis, all components along x axis. ROY is also equal to summation of forces along y axis. And RZ is also equal to summation of forces along z axis. Okay? So, yun yung kailangan natin i-review. With this then, ang given sa atin, the resultant is negative 500 Newtons directed along the y, uh, along the z axis, ano? Kasi uh, vert ito, vertical. Hindi ko na ito. Directed along the z axis. So, paano na natin alaman na z axis? O, given naman yung direction niya dun sa uh, problem, r is negative 500 k. So, kapag k yung direction, that means it acts along the um, x, I don't know along the z axis and negative means that the direction of the force is downwards which means that rx is equal to 0 and ry is equal to 0 no so wala yung component ng force natin along x and y is 0 at meron tayong value ng rz that is negative 500 newtons yung ating value for R sub Z, which is equal to the resultant force. No? Yeah. So, with that, so it, basically, ito yung ating uh, hindi ko na kuan. Ayan. So, ito, this is T1X and this is T1Z. Okay. T1x, T1z, based from our discussion kanina, that F is equal to Fxi plus Fyj plus Fzk. So these are actually the components of, of, of F along the different axes. Okay? So ito, this is T1x, remove yung j doon. T1z, wala tayong component along um, <clears throat> Uh, I sorry, sorry. This is T1Y, I should say. J pala yun. So, wala tayong component along X. No? So, this is T1Y. Ito naman, T2. Ito ah, T2X, since I yan. And this is T2K yan, so Z. Okay? Ito, kompleto sa may T3. So, this is T3X. This is T3Y. And this is T3Z. Okay? Okay. I, I hope that is clear. So from the Cartesian vector form of each tension or force. So with that then, so using this uh, principle, this concept, Rx is equal to summation of, uh, of Fx. Rz is, summation, is equal to summation of Fz. Ry is equal to summation of Fy. 
So with that, Rx then is equal to T1x plus T1y plus T1z. Okay? So that is equal to so wala tayong T1x 0 yan based from uh, dito sa may Cartesian vector form ng T1. Ang meron lang is Sorry. Edit ko na lang yan. So, Rx is equal to... Mali pala yung na sabi ko. Sorry, 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 sorry. Change, change, change. So, Rx is equal to T1x plus T2x plus T3x. Sorry. Sa mission of uh, 4 sa law, x pala yun. Dimilipad ang aking isip. <laughs> the same is true sa ROI. RY is equal to T1Y plus T2Y plus T3Y. And RZ is equal to T1Z plus T2Z plus T3Z. Yan. I hope na klaro lahat yan. Okay. So, I hope klaro, klaro, klaro. Okay. So, medyo mahaba-haba explanation natin. So with that, using these equations, uh, I need more blank uh, space. Ito na lang, muna. Uh, ayan. Space pa dito. So we have now Rx, which is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to T1x, which is wala. 0 plus T2x, which is 0 0.44. Sige, ilagay natin yung 0 para baka malito pa kayo. So, Rx is equal to 0, is equal to T1x, which is 0, plus T2x, which is, uh, kita ba dyan? Ayan. T2x, which is 0 0.447. T2, forget about yung uh, directions natin. These are just directions, yung i, j, k. Plus T3x. Uh, T3x natin is negative uh, 0 0.308 T3. Okay? So, yan. So, we have... 0 is equal to 0 0.447 T2 minus 0 0.308 T3. So this is, let's say, uh, equation 1. Okay, so going back dito sa ating, ay going back. Dito sa may ROI naman, ROI is 0, no? So, we have 0 is equal to T1Y, meron, minus <clears throat> 0 0.555 T1, okay, plus T2Y, walang T2Y, so 0, plus T3Y, T3Y, meron, that is 0 point. 2, 3, 1, T, 3. Okay. So we have 0 is equal to minus 0 0.555 T1 plus 0 0.231 T3. So let's say this is equation 2. Okay. Alright, so next, ito naman tayo. So, RZ, meron tayong value ng RZ. That is negative 500. So, you have negative 500 
is equal to T1Z. So, T1Z natin. Meron, so, minus 0 0.832. Eight three two T one plus T two Z. Meron ulit so minus zero point eight nine four T T two plus T three Z. T three Z natin is meron ulit so minus zero point nine two three T three. Let's say this is equation 3. So, in here we have three equations, three unknowns. Ano? Ang unknown natin ay T1, T2, and T3. And we have three equations. Okay. Okay, uh, again, I will uh, allow you to, so, to use your equation solver sa calculator. So, may, yung mga calculators natin, ay may, can, it can solve uh, three equations, three unknowns. So, yung iba ay four equations, four unknowns. If you're using what I am using, itong Canon, ayan, ayan, ito yung Canon, meron siyang, it can solve up to four equations for nouns. Yung Casio, yung Casio uh, counterpart nitong model na to, it can solve uh, three equations, three unknowns. So, yeah, okay, I can, I can uh, allow you to use your calculators just to solve simultaneously yung uh, mga uh, unknowns natin. Okay? Or, you can do algebra. The equations, the unknowns lang naman yan. You can solve it using uh, by substitution, elimination by substitution, or elimination by addition or subtraction. Or, if you have already discussed matrices, you can solve this by matrix analysis. You can solve it through by Kramer's rule. It's one way, using determinants to solve the Equation, or you can also use a uh, uh, Gauss uh, Jordan elimination. So Gauss, go, yung mga matrix operations natin. But I don't know if you have if you have discussed all those methods. But usually, sa high school naman, uh, even sa pre-calculus, I think na discussed dun yung yung usual way of solving equations na elimination by substitution or elimination by addition or uh, subtraction. Okay. So, yeah. So, if you solve this simultaneously, so T1 would be 110.345 newtons. T2 is 182.759 newtons. And T3 is 265.252 Newton. So these are the answers. Yun lang bang hinahanap sa problem. Yeah, we, we are just required to solve for the, um, the tensions in the cable. Okay, for sa mga hindi nakakala kung paano gumamit ng calculate, uh, paano gamitin yung equation solver natin, I'm using yung calculator na uh, Canon. Ayan. Okay. So, ano ba to? So, punta lang kayo dun sa mode, mode, mode. I don't know, sa Casio, ganoon din yata. So, mode, punta kayo sa 5 equations. So, 5. So, we have 3 equations to unknowns. Uh, so, 3 equations to unknowns is 2. Ayan. So, alam, mayroon tayong lalabas na matrix or table. Okay. Diyan natin ilalagay yung mga coefficients natin. Okay. So, for example, dito. So, let, let uh, T1 be uh, X, T2, Y, and T3, Z. Yun yata yung, nakalag yun yata yung ano, hindi ko pakabisado itong calculator na ito. Kakahiram ko lang sa uh, PIES organization. <laughs> anyway. Ayan, masaya na. <laughs> Coefficient. So, sa equation 1 natin, so wala siyang, yung first, wala siyang x, walang, so 0 yung kwan natin. Kasi we started with t1, so ay with t2 here. So, wala siyang t1, so 0 yung coefficient. 
And then, ito, so press nyo lang 0. So, yung ginawa kanina, so 0, yan. And then, T2 meron. So, ang coefficient niya, ilagay natin 0.447. And then, coefficient ng T3, 0, ah, uh, sorry, negative pala yun. Negative 0 0.308 equals yung D natin, yung right side ng equation, which is 0. Okay? So, yan. Then, pupunta tayo sa next na equation. Equation 2. So, this time, meron tayong value ng T1. So, negative 0 0.555. This time, wala tayong value ng T2. So, 0. And then, T3 is 0 0.231. Ayan. And then, right, uh, sa may kabilang equation, left side natin. Although, dun sana, right side equals 0 sana yun. Okay, yan. So, that is 0. Then, last natin. So, meron tayo yung value ng T1. That's negative. Oh, no. Ayan. So, negative 0 0.832. Then, we have T2 also. Negative... 0.894 Ayan Then we also have T3 Negative 0 0.923 Then sa Kabilang side ng equation natin Meron tayong negative 500 Press lang natin Lalabas ngayon yung Unang lalabas of course yung T1 Susunod yung T2 And then susunod yung T3 So X is 110 Kunting discrepancy lang sa decimal places because of rounding of numbers. Ito siguro. And then, press equals, lalabas yung y. Y would be yung t2. 182. Tama. And then, z would be yung t3 natin which is 265.22. Okay? Kunting discrepancy lang sa decimal. But, that's how you use your equation solver to solve for the equations. Alright, so that's it. So I hope you've learned something. So see you. We'll discuss na yung next chapter natin. Alright, so we're done with chapter 2. We'll discuss the next chapter in another video.